Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Kyle Kleckner. Welcome back. Thanks again for waking up with us this Tuesday morning. Heading out the door, you might find some slick roads this morning, so you may want to want a little extra time. This fog, again, freezing fog, creating some slick roads out there too. Even a little wintry mix falling across parts of southern Nebraska and northern Kansas at this hour too. So that said, take it easy on the roads. Again, temperatures are not going to be changing a whole lot throughout the day with that fog in place. That cloud cover as well should see highs in the 30s this afternoon. Well, here's a live look at Imperial right now where, yes, visibility is a little hard to see out there. 26 degrees right now in town. A light southeasterly wind at 5 miles an hour. Sort of keeping that fog around. Pretty widespread fog this hour across the entire coverage area. Again, visibility reduced it pretty much every location. The worst of the fog, it's pretty spotty, the worst of the dense fog that is. Places like Imperial right now, we just saw a quarter mile visibility. Also the same there at Ainsworth, a half mile visibility. Places like O'Neill, Broken Bow, as well as North Platte. So again, take these with this fog out there this morning. Again, freezing fog also occurring creating those slick roads. Dense fog advised remains in place for all of our coverage area until noon central time. More than likely, I would imagine this will probably get extended until later on tonight, maybe into tomorrow morning. So with all this fog sticking around, those winds right now, pretty light for us. Again, really not many places more than five miles an hour is helping that fog stick around. So unfortunately, these winds are going to be staying light today. It's going to keep that fog in our viewing areas. So once again, those winds not going to be doing a whole lot to help that fog out. Also, on the other half of the big story today, again, we got the fog, the wintry weather we're also dealing with. Again, a wintry weather advisory remains in place for some of our southeastern most counties through this morning. And we are tracking a little bit of light wintry mix there across uh, parts of say, southern Nebraska, northern Kansas at this time, which will likely stick around through the morning hours. Again, probably favoring our southeastern most counties, but that fog also be sticking around really all day long. So will the cloud cover. Fog probably going to be sticking around even tomorrow morning. I wouldn't rule that out either. Again, future cast does indicate another round of wintry mix, maybe some freezing rain for maybe southeast areas tomorrow morning. And once again, uh, even you know what's not showing up on radar, even what we're seeing right now, uh, freezing drizzle still occurring out there, making those roads slick. So. Another chance tomorrow morning, even another chance maybe Thursday morning for some of our southeastern most counties. You're kind of getting hit hard here as of late with all this precipitation and all the wintry weather. So once again, be careful on the roads today. Be talking temperatures in the 30s for right. Well, even right now, most places in the 30s and 20s there to our north and west. But uh, temperatures are not going to be changing a whole lot today. We'll see highs in the 30s in the Tri-Cities looking higher on 33. Again, look out for fog, freezing fog, freezing drizzle as well. Temperatures across the state. Widespread low to mid 30s is what we see. 40s on the panhandle. Those temperatures back down to the 20s and 30s tonight, not really changing a whole lot as a result of all that fog. And temperatures tomorrow, maybe a touch warmer, mid 30s for most of us, maybe some upper 30s, maybe low 40s off to our west. Places like that bird might hit 40 tomorrow. Looking at the next week, obviously, the next couple of days, staying pretty steady in the mid 30s and gradually warming up here as we head into the weekend. Again, upper 30s possible Thursday and Friday. Then we hit 40s for the weekend. Of course, 50 by Monday. That is going to be very nice. A nice, drastic change compared to last week, Sarah. Yeah, maybe get your car washed earlier in the week because I think m Monday will be the day. Yeah, Monday looks pretty good. Even the weekend, really. So, mm -hmm. I mean, 46 on Sunday, that'll feel just as fine, too. Mm -hmm. It's all looking good, Kyle. It's all looking good. Good job. All right. <laughs>